many, many, many years ago, I would come home from work, and before I even came in the door, I could hear this banging on the door, banging, banging, banging. And I would walk in, here was Ryan, waiting for Dad to take him for a ride. This represents a road and the journey that you and Jordan are on. And I hope it ends with all the happiness and everything you want in life. Jordan, I want to thank you for loving our son. From the first time we met, we knew you were the one. You were an immediate sister to Kate and sister to Tyler. It's a good day to be alive. Ryan had asked to speak with Rich and asked for Jordan's hand and then had made arrangements. It was Christmas time at Longwood Gardens and she did not know, we knew, we were there to take pictures and he proposed to her in December. I was born to breathe the air. Jordan received this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. They're best friends. They love to do things together. I know he's taking some classes in school, and she told me just not long ago this year that she was keeping up with what he's supposed to do. So I think she challenges him that way. Congratulations, Ryan and Jordan. We wish you the best of luck. Your wedding was beautiful. We can't wait to have fun with you guys tonight. Can't wait to celebrate. Woo! With many years of happiness. Jordan, you've always been a joy ever since we've met you. And Ryan, we look forward to getting to know you. You guys are awesome. Love you, Love you guys. You're going to have a lifetime of happiness. Jordan, this is your grandmother wishing you a happy day and a happy future with your lovely husband, Ryan. Thank you to our parents. Thank you to our friends that came, staying the night, staying the weekend. We're so excited to celebrate with you, go on the dance floor, and have some fun. Jordan was much younger. She was just always a carefree spirit. Never got real serious. I mean, she always did well in school, but never took herself too seriously. Always liked to enjoy a good time. Always sought out this experience. Had a number of different circles of friends growing up, which was nice. She never got like into one click. She was just very friendly, very social, very outgoing. Hi, sweetheart. I am so excited that our big day is finally here. It must have been a whirlwind all day with getting ready and just know I will be there waiting for you at the altar. Everything about you just makes me so excited. We have been doing life together for a while now and now it's finally official. I love you and Bears very much and can't wait to see you. Marriage. Love, Ryan. No in my way. Ryan, AKA RMC. Our day is here and I cannot be more excited. I love the life we've built together and look forward to continuing to build a future and life together. I promise to always be there for you and to love you unconditionally. Now let's go get married. Love you always, Jordan. Jordan was excited and very much looking forward to the day. I, as her mother, was probably more nervous. She was enjoying every moment. Whoa, Jeez, you look spectacular. Wow, I, oh, this is great. A double corset will do to you, you know. <laughs> I see two children. I see a house filled with just a lot of love and a lot of family time and almost work as a second thing. I see their children as being front and center. 
just as Jordan was to her parents and Ryan was to us. It's spring of 2018. After several months of messaging back and forth, this Penn State grad named Ryan, perhaps hoping for love one day, musters the courage to ask this Nova grad, this executive recruiter named Jordan, out on their first dates. Bonding over their love of family, their siblings, their love for dogs, their love of their faith. Jordan, by the grace of the Holy Spirit, as they are trying to figure out where this might go, orders a golden monkey from Victory Brewing Company. And in that moment, I imagine, Ryan thinks to himself, she's the one. With a love that has budded ever since that moment four years ago, you have found yourselves in love. Brought here to this day so that four years later after meeting on that first date, you find yourself, Ryan, going down on one knee in Longwood Gardens, the same place your parents proposed, where you asked Jordan, will you marry me? Jordan said yes. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for the celebration, dear brothers and sisters, and now we stand with Ryan and Jordan on the day they intend to form a home of their own. For them, this is a moment of unique importance, so let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, with our prayer as their brothers and sisters, as their family and friends. Let us listen attentively with them to the word that God speaks to us today then, with Holy Church, let us humbly pray to God the Father, through Christ our Lord, for this couple, his servants, that he lovingly accept them, bless them, and make them always one. <laughs> the Lord God said, It is not good for a man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of its ribs and closed up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one shall be called woman, for out of her, man, this one has been taken. And that is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, and the two of them become one body. Love is patient. Love is kind. It is not jealous. It is not pompous. It is not inflated. It is not rude. It does not seek its own interests. It is not quick-tempered. It does not brood over injury. It does not rejoice over wrongdoings, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. I, Ryan, take you, Jordan, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you. In good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you all the days of my life. For love, allow it to grow stronger in our thoughts, our actions, and our words. And in the lives of Ryan and Jordan, whose love for each other has brought us here today, we pray to the Lord. For friendship, a gift that makes love between committed couples possible. Lord, we thank you for the many people who have shared their lives with Ryan and Jordan. May their friendships grow stronger every day. We pray to the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, let us go rejoicing, celebrating Mr. and Mrs. Ryan and Jordan Crossman. Just appreciating the environment to start with. The weather was magnificent for a November day to be so bright and sunny. I just was coming from the 5 p.m. mass and 
this little four-year-old named Bradley came up to me and he goes, Father Bill, do you know what day it is today? And I thought, uh, Saturday? And he looked at me and he goes, no, no, no. Today is the best day ever. So I was like, absolutely. And so today we celebrate the best day ever for Ryan and Jordan. Being able to be on the back patio at Overbrook and watching loved ones, friends and family just enjoy each other's company was something that I just stood back and kind of took in. So, you know, first of all, Corey and I would like to uh, welcome you to, uh, and thank you for coming today, to a very important date in our life and in the life of Ryan and Jordan. And we hope that the experience tonight at Overbrook Golf Club is gonna be second to none. Corey and I recall the day when Jordan was at, at home and she's like looking at a Tinder or something. She was like trying to decide between two guys. And she asked us which one it should be. And she said, this guy looks like he's more fun. And she chose him. And, and yes, that was Ryan. The whole day was a culmination of basically two years of planning. <laughs> but it was just a culmination of, of all the love. You could feel the love in the room. And that's what people were saying to me. You know, through all the dances and, of course, a few alcoholic beverages, you could just feel the love that those two had for each other and how everybody loved them. We first met Ryan at a Sixers game. It was kind of interesting because we, we met him in the parking lot and he's like hobbling with, a, with an orthopedic boot on one ankle. And I wasn't sure if it was like his Linus blanket, you know, whether, whether it was an excuse or maybe a, an, an exit strategy if things didn't work out. But over time, Ryan demonstrated, you know, he was a truly caring young man by the way he treated Jordan, both amongst us and what we were hearing from others. You always pay attention to the detectives that we paid to, to follow them around. Ryan Jordan is, is, is so wonderful to be here tonight to share with your marvelous evening and the beginning of your lives together. We love you both, congratulations. Your nuptials are gonna be as good as you guys choose to make it. And as Ryan's dad mentioned, you know, there's ups and downs with marriages. If we're surviving, you're gonna be thriving. Congratulations, you two kids. Uh, we're very proud of you. Excited to celebrate tonight. Jordan's loyalty and love, which I am lucky enough to receive, is her most dominating trait. She will go to the ends of the earth for those she cares about. Her dedication to those she loves, whether it's me, her younger sister, or her yellow lab, is why I know she will be an incredible wife. Ryan, I honestly cannot imagine anyone else with my sister. When I wondered who my radiant, bubbly sister would end up with, I knew it had to be someone who would match her infectious energy. While I instantly saw all that when I met you at the 76ers game, you being her perfect match was further confirmed for me when my oldest friend since childhood met Ryan and thought he was the friendliest, funniest, and most approachable 30-year-old they had ever met wearing white Crocs. From the moment you entered my life, you felt like another big brother that I knew always had my back. Congratulations, and I wish you endless love and happiness. And when we do the reunion, come back to Cabo with us. We were just See talking you. about that, so can't wait. Congratulations, Ryan and Jordan. We look forward to celebrating this wonderful night with you. I've known Jordan since she was a baby, and to watch her grow and become the awesome, composed, radiant, glorious, glowing girl that she is has just been 
wonderful to see and to find somebody like Ryan who is her equal in every way and they're just the kindest, most approachable couple. We love you and congrats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. We wish you well. Congratulations. Godspeed. Congratulations. Thank you. It's been a great time so far, and good luck in life. You guys are awesome for each other. Congratulations, and thank you. Many congrats, guys. Congrats. I am Ryan's little brother, Tyler, also known as the bigger, stronger, faster, more good looking, more athletic. Anything you got, I'm better. All that aside. Ryan is a pretty amazing big brother, and he's been there for every part of my life. The good and bad, and I can't thank him enough for it. Jordan, you have a heart of gold. Loving Ryan is no easy task, and I couldn't have asked for him to marry a better person. Congrats, Ryan Jordan. So just proud of you guys. Wish you the best of luck. Can't wait to celebrate. Thanks for having us on your big day. Let's go. We wish you guys all the best. We love you both. We love and you thank both. Thank you for letting us be a part of your day. It was just spectacular. It was everything I had envisioned and more for these two, you know, starting with the rehearsal dinner that we had, you know, on that Thursday night, ending with the wedding on Saturday. Uh, it was just a magical, magical day. Yeah, uh, there's, a, there's a lot of good people involved. Both of our families, big time families, there's a lot of personality on both sides. I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, you can say that again. It's definitely going to be good. I'm going to take my shirt off. Wait, don't take pictures. <laughs> I'm in my robe. My daughter. She's next, by the way. <laughs> Ryan used to beat me up a little bit here and there. Yeah, but, uh, he's kind of a bully. Every cross on Christmas Eve, he would throw me to the floor. My dad is cousins with um, her mom, and so we kind of. I would say, it, right, Ryan, Ryan and I are the best FIFA players on this earth. Um. I'll say that much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much he still plays, but I'd probably still beat him. <laughs> we actually. I've known each other since I was a baby, and she's known each other since we were a baby. And Ryan, um, I've always looked up to you as an older cousin. We always joked around that we were the best looking in the family, which I still agree. <laughs> um, and we always had the butt chin. So we kind of like, yeah, we're like, we're, we're like in her family. Yeah, we're family. <laughs> there we go, big boy. All right, ladies. I remember you. Best wishes to Jordan and Ryan from BBT Live. You guys both are really sexy. Uh, marriage advice, just say, just say yes, whatever you want, you know. It's totally cool. Uh, <laughs> congratulations. 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 Love you guys. Go <laughs> feel